house, I realize wearing this fucking pink shirt is not gonna help me for what I gotta say. Um, so I, I recently discovered something about myself that was fucking mind blowing, right? Um, I was watching a recording of one of my old performances and I realized that my voice does not match my body. Um, I see some of y'all agree. Um, <laughs> And you know, I, at first I didn't mind having a light voice, but the thing I hated was the stereotypes that went along with other shit, like, you know, if you have depression, depression gives you deep voice. And that's not true, because I had depression, and when people used to ask me if I was okay, I'd be like, not good, not good. <laughs> Fuck y'all, <yeah>, man. <laughs> um, but no, like, I wouldn't mind having a light voice if my goddamn prepubescent younger sister's voice wasn't deeper than mine. Her voice kind of reminds me of like that troll from Harry Potter that they beat up in the bathroom. Right? <laughs> so, no, 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 no. Cause she called me yesterday and she was like, man, look, uh, <laughs> uh, I just, I just got out of the hospital and I got 18 stitches. And I'm all like, what happened? <laughs> and she's like, I was shaving my beard <laughs> and the razor got stuck and I yanked it and it cut me. I was like, bitch, if I told you once, I told you a hundred times, you gotta shave against the grain. Damn. But, God gives with one hand and takes with the other. You know what I mean? Because yes, it is true. She does have a deeper voice than mine. But my chest is bigger than hers. So you know what I'm saying? Like, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. Um, but no, I have a theory as to why my voice is like this. Um, my balls didn't drop. These motherfuckers were lazy and took an escalator down. <laughs> And somewhere along the way, they got real impatient and just hopped off a few floors early. So this is the fucking voice I got. Um, <laughs> having a light voice is a lot of things, but it is not intimidating at all. Because I be thinking, I sound like Barry White, but when that shit comes out for whatever reason, I fucking sound like Betty White, right? <laughs> Case in point, right? So I be thinking I sound like, man, I'm gonna fuck you up. But I realize what people probably hear is, I'm gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> Maybe. Probably not. Can we all just get along? <laughs> anyway, um, but no, I grew up in the ghettos of DC in the late 80s and the early 90s. Do you know what I had to do to get out the hood with this voice? Nigga, I had to learn sign language. <laughs> Anyway, um, let me see, because I wrote some of this shit down. Um, but no, the one thing that I do have working for me is my size, you know what I mean? Um, when people see me, it's like, oh man, I'm not gonna fuck with him. But then the moment I speak, that shit quickly changes to, I bet I can get him to fix my computer. <laughs> Nigga, welcome to Apple, what the fuck you yeah. say? Um, but no, I've been working on like my intimidating pose and shit, and I'm gonna show y'all tonight, right? So, so don't judge me, this is it. Fuck y'all. Um, no, but no, like, um, here's the thing. Like, it fucks with your confidence, you know what I mean? Like, um, it makes you question things about yourself that you've always known to be true, me personally. Like, I don't even think that I'm black anymore, or ever. I feel like, <laughs> no, I feel like um, there should be like some kind of warning or something that's tattooed on me that's like, warning. Negro in front of you is quite wider than they appear. You know what I mean? <laughs> and it comes off of women too, because it's like, I don't feel comfortable asking women the blackest line I know. Like, pardon me, ma'am. Do you have black in you? Would you like some? <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's not even because it's misogynistic or, or mean or rude, no. It's because I'm not sure I got black in me. And the last thing I want, the last thing I need, is fucking false advertising. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
But I'll say this, because I gotta get out of here. Um, wait, no, I forgot that shit. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't help that I'm excitable, right? So when I get excited or sad or whatever, my voice goes even higher. Uh, God, I ain't even getting out yet, right? Even higher. So my girlfriend and I was watching another video uh, of a performance that I did, um, that we made, and, right, um, and you know, at the very end of it, like after I came, all you heard was, that was great! Now, now I, um, I didn't even remember saying that shit, but you know, I looked at her and her like face swelled up, like she was about to laugh, and that shit hurt my feelings. So I was like, bitch, you better not tell this to nobody. And that's when her balls dropped, like, that's how ghetto her balls are. Them motherfuckers drop at their own time. She was like, you call me a bitch again, and I'ma fuck you up. Can we all just get along? All right, guys, that's been my time. I'm out of here.